Today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D camera track in After Effects. And just for some examples of what we're going to be doing, here are some video clips that use this technique. Okay, so as you can see, they're pretty cool and you can track these different things into your shot. So the first thing you need to do is create a new composition. Once you're there, you need to drag in the footage that you want to track. So I just have this clip here of driving down the road. Now what you want to do is go up to animation and hit track camera. Now what this is going to do is analyze all the frames in your shot and determine track points. It usually takes a couple minutes. So once it's analyzed every frame, it's going to solve the camera, and this is going to take a little bit, but now, as you can see, we have these track points here. When I scroll around, you can see that they move accordingly to the shot. They kind of stay in the position that they start in. And as you can see, there's a lot of points here with targets coming up. So I'm just going to pick one on the side of this truck right here. Click on it, and then right-click, Create Solid and Camera. And now, as you can see, there's a little blue square there. And as you scroll around and play it back, you can see it directly attaches to the truck and the object it's sitting on. So as it comes forward, the solid sticks to that object. So now let's do an example of somewhere else. If you click back on it, you can bring up the tracker points again. So I'm just going to make a place right here. I'm going to create new text and camera. And so now there's text sitting on the road. And as they go by, it kind of stays on the road. So you can just replace the text with anything. And now I want to change the rotation, and you can change it in three different axes since it's 3D. And of course, now this is way too big, so I'm going to scale it way down. And I'm going to change the position. And so now that looks pretty good. So now when I scale back, you can see that it directly sticks right to that point on the road where I left it. So when I come forward, and when I pass it, it stays in the same spot like it was almost actually in the shot. If your shot's wobbly and doesn't have good track points, you can always go into the advanced mode and turn on detailed analysis. An average error you want to aim for is under one pixel. If it's a little bit over, it doesn't affect it that bad. But if you have under one, the track is always going to be super solid. So this little tool inside of After Effects is super easy to use, but it opens up a ton of different options for tracking in 3D. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.